Hi, Tansu. Welcome to another love reading of yours. This is your weekly reading. This is the um, this is the general reading, guys. So this may or may not resonate with every Cancer watching this video. Some of the energies of the cards here can be flipped, so feel free to switch those energies, vice versa. And if you don't need a person reading, that information is going to be down below. King of Wands, overall energy, bottom of the deck. So I think that there is someone who's not taking action or there is someone who's being very indecisive right now. Uh, this is the lack of confidence and I think this is stressing you out with the Ten of Wands here. You guys could be having a lot of fights, a lot of conflicts, or you know, someone is just very conflicted in their head, all right? But yeah, with the Ten of Wands and the King of Wands, I'm seeing that someone needs to take action, but they're not because they're just not being decisive, or they just don't know which is the right move to make. Lack of confidence is what I'm getting, okay? This could be someone who's non-committal, but I'm not getting so much non-committal. I'm getting that the pressure of not taking action is driving someone nuts, okay? It's draining some, someone out. Could be someone who is just playing games, someone who's playing it very cool. They're not very serious about everything, you know. And this is again, yeah, I'm not getting this the same energy. Someone's just playing it very cool, not taking things seriously. It's all fun and games for them. And this is draining the other person out. All right. Let's see. Right. So what happened in the past? Two of Cups. This is love. You guys had a good relationship in the past. What the fuck happened? Current situation, emperor, boundaries were crossed. All right, boundaries were crossed, my friend. Could be a lack of commitment, could be someone, yes, there was a lot of love, but there could have been, you know, a little, um, look, there's always a difference between loving someone, but when it comes to taking a step, into getting into something stable, something committed, there are people who can cop out, okay? So I think boundaries were crossed. There was a lot of love because two people loved each other, right? So yeah, you tend to lower your boundaries, your standards, etc. Whatever happened, I think there was a breakup separation between you guys, but now you're bossing up, all right, cancel. You're bossing up, you're setting healthy boundaries, you got standards and you want things um, in a particular structure and in a particular way, all right? You're not messing around, you mean business. What's on your mind with the five of wands in reverse here? I feel that you, th there's, you know, more than external conflict, you don't want to fight with this person anymore because this person brings a lot of drama in your life. So for you, it's like, you know what? I don't want the drama in, your, in my life. That's, that's one of the boundaries that you're setting. This person brings a lot of chaos and drama in your life. You know, you guys are always bickering. There's a lack of cooperation, etc. Okay. And you're saying a big fat no to that. You're no more wanting to compete for this person or no more wanting to fight with this person. The root of the issue is the Ten of Wands in reverse. You've laid down this situation because you're done. You're fed up. Getting a lot of wands, a lot of stressful energy, a lot of wands. Five of Wands in reverse with the Ten of Wands in reverse. I'm done competing. I'm done fighting. I'm done with the conflicts. It's over and done with. You bring too much drama in my life. And this could be a situation that you've been carrying out. It's been a long, tiring road for you, you know. You could have been holding on to this burden for a very long time. Or it's almost like you couldn't lay the situation down and you couldn't carry it anymore, okay. It was like you were carrying the entire relationship, but the burden of the entire relationship or whatever, okay. It was just a very draining energy and you finally released it and you finally released the burdens. There's communication coming in in the near future, all right? Once you let this person go, you give them, you you let, you let make them realize what's going on. They're coming in with some exciting communication. They're coming in with some good news. This is a lot of passionate communication coming in towards you. Two of Swords. Okay. So you are stuck in your head, Cancer. There's something you're stuck in your head about with the two of swords. You know you need to make a decision about something. But the decision is almost like, you know what, you're presented with two very, very difficult choices, okay? And you're the one who needs to make a choice. You're stuck in your head. Two, either you're refusing to see the reality, you're refusing to see things for what they are, you're refusing to see the clarity in the situation, or you don't have enough information needed um, to probably make a decision. But again, with the two of swords and in your emotions, with the five of pentacles, I feel you're shutting this person out. 
It's almost like, you know what? I feel you have a blindfold and you're completely blocking this person out. I'm hearing block, block, block. You block this person's ass out of your life. You're refusing to see this person. You're at a stalemate, you know, a hundred percent stalemate. But yes, you've shut this person out. You're feeling left out in the cold by this person or you're shutting this person out, okay? It's like you feel you have to do everything on your own. You miss them. But yeah, I, it's almost like a decision that you needed to make where you set your boundaries and you needed to set this person right. It's almost like you teach this person how to treat you the way you treat yourself. And that's exactly what you're doing. You're blocking their asses. You're protecting your heart chakra. And the moment you do that, this person's coming in with apology. The Knight of Cups, yes, it is an emotional offer. Yes, it is a love offer. But yeah. So I think you're refusing to talk to this person, you know, and now that you've shut this person out, right, you've left them out in the cold, you're coming in love offer, they're ready to express their feelings, I'm getting more apology, and that's the good news that's coming in in the near future, okay? Cancer, you're the emperor here, you're dealing with a page and a knight, so you need to be careful about that, all right? Knights, they come in and go. Pages, they're very, very mature, okay? And you're wanting something very, very stable, something very mature. Your approach towards the situation is very logical. You're letting, you're putting your emotions on the side, you know. You want this with this person. But for you, it's like, if you're not coming in right, then I don't want you at all. That's what your call is. And this person is like, you know, at least from the page, they're coming in as the knight. I like that. But again, it's more apologetic. I'm more, more, I'm getting more like, all right, you know what, can we try this again? Because you've shut them out and they miss you. The likely outcome, six of swords in reverse. Someone's still stuck. You know, Libra. I don't know why I said Libra. You could be dealing with a Libra. Cancer. I feel that um, someone here is wanting to return back. They're just not being able to move on from you. This person wants you back. Now that you've pulled back your energies, you're not, you're not taking action. Let's see. They're returning back. They're coming back after you shut them out. All right. What is the King of Wands in reverse? This, you, you know, you could be dealing with someone who's just very, they're not confident, you know, in taking the step. They're not being bold. They're not taking that bold step. They're not being courageous and brave to come forward and come and offer you whatever you want, come and offer you the stability or come in and say what you really want to hear or come in and take this relationship to the next level of commitment and that's what's draining you out. That's exactly what I got in the overall energy. Why is the King of Wands in reverse? Why is the King of Wands in reverse? They're not taking action and they're waiting with the Three of Wands here. I think they're waiting for you but you're too focused on yourself. You're focused on your money, your work, your career, goals, etc. But you're focused on everything but the relationship. They're waiting for you to message them. I think even if you don't, they're still coming in. So, yeah. What is this three of wands? They're manifesting you back. It could also be you manifesting that them back and that's when they're coming in, okay? So, yeah, I think what you're doing, keep doing what you're doing. It's needed sometimes, you know. Why is the three of wands here? What is this three of wands? Because I had two cuts fall out. Okay, they're washing in. They're washing in. Okay, they're coming in. They're coming in to talk to you with the knight of swords here. They're very codependent on you is what I'm getting. Okay, this person needs you. They want you. They need you in their life. They're not okay on their own. You're dealing with someone who's not okay on their own. And you're the emperor here. Okay, who's absolutely okay on their own. And if you want something, it better be right. If it's not, good luck. But you're not going to entertain anything that is lesser than what you deserve. I like that. I like that very much, Cancer. Magician and the death here. This person's completely transforming themselves and they're coming in they're hellbent on making things happen the magician three of wands that's a lot of manifestation cancer whether you're doing this or they're doing it whatever but yeah this is someone who wasn't taking action before but now there's a complete change and they're rushing in yes the knight of swords is a lot of um blood communication so yeah again a lot of knights like i told you before right but you're dealing with someone with the magician you're dealing with someone who's just they're single, they like to be single, and yes, this is someone who has the gift of the gap, they're very good looking, 
they see all the right things but yes they they've always got a trick up their sleeves okay but the magician upright not the bad one they are manipulated granted but this is someone again who thinks they can just do anything that they want they're very non committal all right so yeah i think they're they're coming in hoping that they're going to get you back for sure they're manifesting you and they're coming in with that entire transformation with that entire change okay all right what is the two of cups what are the two of cups say so someone had to make a decision with the two of wands here this is needing to make a very detached choice okay someone was at a crossroads in the past with this relationship okay i'm getting the crossroads was of whether this person is completely in or out because this person is was half in half out okay so i'm getting almost like the relationship was there but when it came to making this relationship exclusive that's when someone was just taking too long to make a choice okay and that in turn made you feel very very backstabbed and betrayed because you were like what the fuck you already love me we love each other we're in a relationship so what's the hook up like what's the delay for what's the emperor why is the emperor here try for the emperor you see things for what they are with the ace of swords you cut this person out because with the ace of wands in reverse yeah, i feel this person you realize that this person was just having fun without commitment or you were just not feeling the connection anymore i'm getting more of someone who's again non committal or you realize this was just a false start okay every time it starts quickly ends quickly and this time with the ace of swords and the emperor here dude you have serious boundaries you cut this person's ass off for sure because for you it's like this is what it is you're not crossing my boundaries anymore i gave you a chance you didn't make a decision i'm out what is the ace of swords What is the Ace of Swords? What's the Ace of Swords? It's almost like I'm getting you waited and waited and waited, and this person just did not make a choice. What is the Ace of Swords? You're dealing with a coward. You're dealing with someone who's just not ready to step up the game. Eight of Pentacles. You're gonna work on yourself because this was a lack of equal give and take. This was where someone was just not not reciprocating or giving you the bare minimum. All right, and you know that you deserve much more than that. that's why you put in those boundaries now you're very focused on your work on your goals career or whatever you're trying to distract yourself whatever have you but yeah you're focused on everything but the relationship what is the five of wands in reverse why is this on cancer's mind you're really saying the devil no more drama no more fighting for this person again i'm getting no more drama because this is someone very very toxic you realize that with the ace of swords so you have clarity about a situation no more clouded judgment no more misunderstandings and yeah this person's out i'm getting this ace of wands here shuffled right in front of you it's still there again someone fun without commitment or someone who's just you're not feeling the connection or this was just a relationship that was just sexual or it just started quickly and it quickly again false start is what i'm getting you release this person on your mind you just don't want to be with this person you read you release something that you were stuck tied and bound to you could have been very obsessed with this person very addicted okay it's like a very toxic pattern okay but yeah you're letting it go the hard of it in reverse and the eight of swords wanted to come out lack of commitment dealing with someone who's commitment who's a commitment folk someone who does not like to do things a traditional way this stuck in their head this stuck in their head it's not that they they don't want this with you they love you they love you cancer but they're just either they're stuck in another commitment or this is just someone who's just not wanting to do it right now with you because they have a lot of fear this is someone who's very paralyzed by fear or someone who's again they let fear control the way they think about relationships or the way they think about a person they let fear control it a lot they're creating their own mental prison it has nothing to do with you cancer all right what is this 10 of wands in reverse clap at the 10 of wands and man you release this person you stop chasing and pursuing this person okay maybe this person was moving very very slowly towards you and um you could even release someone with the 10 of wands and the hangman in reverse here you probably let go of a situation where someone kept you on hold for a very long time i'm getting a lot of hold 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 they kept you on hold didn't make a decision and decisive and you were like just waiting and waiting and waiting okay nine of wands now you're very guarded with this person 
This person wants to offer you stability, security, but their approach towards you is wrong. What is the hangman in reverse? You could be dealing with someone who has a very one-sided perspective. That's why also you could have let this situation go. They had a very one-sided perspective. This is someone who would, you know, like sacrifice their own happiness just to prove how right they are, you know. That's the kind of person you're dealing with. Very stubborn, very rigid, very hard to change their mind. What is the hangman in reverse? Or you could have just laid down a situation which was on hold for a very long time. What is the hangman in reverse? Nine of Wands. Now, that I mean, you have huge trust issues. Someone has huge trust issues here with the Nine of Wands here. That's why this person is probably not ready to budge. Nine of Wands, they're very scared. They're very afraid. Very afraid. Probably they're afraid of you. Because they know that you're not messing around this time and you've got your boundaries. Now this person's this person's got their guards up, you know. And that's why probably, you know, you let it go. Because they were just stubborn, not ready to budge, not ready to see things from your point of view. Like, very defensive energy. Very defensive. Yeah, you could be dealing with someone who has huge trust issues. I'm getting someone who's carried baggage from their past relationships. They haven't healed and they're bringing it to this relationship which has good potential but it's just not happening the way you want it to because their their subconscious thoughts are still stuck on the past they haven't healed from the past you know and they're bringing it all in the present what is this two of swords so what is the page of wands sorry why is the page of wands in the near future what is this page of wands wheel of fortune in reverse someone's coming in but i don't think that things are going to move forward with the wheel of fortune in reverse because whatever they do, use is going to be right. I don't think things are still going to move forward because I'm getting the timing is off. You know, the timing is off. Something's just not right. If you're letting this person go away, I'm thinking two scenarios. Either you're wanting to talk to this person, okay? In this separation, you're wanting to talk to this person or this person is wanting to talk to you. But there is something, there is an external factor which is stopping you both from coming together. Either this person is repeating their past mistakes and not learning their lessons. That's what I'm getting. They're repeating their past mistakes. They're not learning their lessons. That's why the Wheel of Fortune is still in the reverse. This is karma paying off. They want to talk. But again, it's like the way their approach towards you is they're still not learning it that, you know, every single time they come towards you, they come towards you with a lame ass apology or they come towards you with, you know, as if nothing's just really happened, you know, that's their approach towards you. That's why things are not moving forward. They're still stuck. They're still not learning their lessons. That's all I can get with the Wheel of Fortune Universe. That's why there's this delay. But anyways, the cycle isn't off with you guys. They're still... It's still not over between you guys, okay? It's stuck and stagnant. The communication is coming in, but still, they're still not learning their lessons and, the, and it's not over, like I said. What is the, what is the Two of Swords? Back of the Two of Swords. You're stuck. You're blocking this person out and you're not chasing or pursuing this person, okay? Or it could, I mean... Yeah, see, you're dealing with a commitment phobe, right? You're dealing with someone who's non-committal. That's why you're just, I mean, you could have been moving very slowly towards you, towards this person. Or this person could be moving very slowly towards you. And that's what pisses you off. They're super, super slow, okay? And now they've completely stopped. They fear change. They fear offering you something stable. And that's for keeping them, keeping you in your head. Or they're stuck in their head. What is this Knight of Cups? What is the Knight of Cups? What is the Knight of Cups? This person has thought a, done a lot of thinking. They realized that it was a one-sided situation. They realized there was a lack of reciprocity. They realized that you, they didn't, they weren't being able to offer you what you deserve. And I think with the Knight of Cups and the Hermit here, this person has done a lot of thinking after you, you've ghosted them or after they ghosted you. They've gone and done a lot of soul searching, okay, they've realized, it's like, this person could have even have a habit of ghosting you, okay, like every single time something happens and they just ghost you, because they, they like to go with it, but again, the hermit is also someone, you know, who just likes to like stay isolated, they need their time alone, they need some time alone, they need to be on their own, they need to realize what, where, when, how, why, and now they're finally coming in after doing all these thoughts. 
someone's losing patience here with the temperance in reverse here. Someone's really losing patience. I think you're not paying heed to them and now they're losing their patience. What is the five of pentacles? The lovers in reverse. Again, Cancer, this is a very, very codependent relationship. Again, but you're dealing with someone who's having a very hard time making a choice. It's just so difficult for them. They, they were holding on to a decision in the past. They're still holding on to a decision. They, they miss you. They feel left out by you. But when it comes to making a choice, they just cannot do it. They try to make the easy way out, you know. That's the problem here. They've been doing this all throughout. Probably they feel by hurting you so much after doing whatever they did, they'll just come in with a page of wands and they'll just come in with like some passionate communication and things are going to be okay. I don't think so. They're very codependent on you. They're very codependent on you. They want to be with you. They want to be in this relationship with you. Okay. They need you because I think you're vibrating at a very, very high level. Okay. And this is something very magnetic to this person. You're focused on yourself. You've cut them out because you see things for very, 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 very clearly. Okay. And you've set these borders. And when you set these boundaries, right, that's what's attracting them back. It's very attractive, right? Very sexy when someone shows the other person how they are to be treated, right? Boundaries and, um, you know, uh, healthy boundaries are very, very important for a healthy relationship. They love you, again, but there is a huge disconnection between you guys right now, again, because I feel one person was more emotionally invested into the relationship than the other. They're, they're, they're very passionate about you. They want to come towards you, right? They're reevaluating the situation. They're thinking. They're thinking a lot. You could be thinking a lot. Again, take it vice versa, okay? Whoever I'm reading for. I'm reading for cancers. You can take it how it resonates. But yeah, there's someone who's reevaluating the situation after this breakup and separation has happened, okay? What is the Six of Swords in reverse? What is the Six of Swords in reverse? Someone's stuck on you. They're losing patience. They're not being able to be cool, calm, collected. This is someone who's not ready to cooperate, not ready to compromise. They know they don't know what they want, but they want it now. <laughs> this person has a lot of love for you. They want to come back to you, okay? But King of Cups, someone who does not show their emotions. They love you to the moon and back, but they're not going to show it to you. They're very hard to read. They're very hard to read. King of Cups. They're trusting their intuition this time. Why is the King of Cups here? Why is the King of Cups here? Why is the King of Cups here? But again, their guards are up. Why is the King of Cups here? Six of Pentacles in reverse, but they're stuck. They know they need to make a change. They're resisting a change. They're resisting a thought pattern, okay? It's like they're going back to the same behavior or they could be going back to their ex again and again. Or it's just a repetitive pattern that they're not being able to cut. They're not being able to move, okay? Because that's a that's like their comfort zone, okay? Again, they love you very much. But again, I think there is a tendency of this person repeating the same pattern over and over and over again which in turn with the star in reverse here and the ten of swords here it's going to leave you feeling very hopeless about this connection you're going to lose faith again and with the ten of swords again you're going to feel very very backstab and betrayed and you're going to emotionally turn very very cold you're just going to shut down and you're going to land up not offering this person your emotions anymore i think when this person comes in right we don't want the page so we don't want the page we don't want the knight we're looking for a king okay but we're looking for the king of pentacles okay the pentacles is something which is very stable cups emotions yes they have it but what's the point right when they're not being able to offer you anything stable so that's up to you cancer they're coming in though they're coming in with an apology they're coming with a love offer they've done a lot of thinking about this but again i'm thinking their approach towards you is very light-hearted it's not like as serious as you're looking for it to be that's why probably you feel there's an imbalance here because again your way of, of approaching the situation or your way of looking at love is different and their way of looking at love is different. That's why you land up feeling betrayed and backstabbed every single time. So that's what I have for you, Cancer. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
bye